welcome back to Disuse Stations episode whatever you will find out. Uh, today's episode brings us to Blackpool Central. If you've been following the daily vlog, which I'll also link, you will notice I come off at Blackpool Central, uh, Blackpool South, and it come up to Blackpool Central. And we're now doing Blackpool Central, which is just in the distance where the tower is. Where Coral Island is today. Let's head down there and explain the station. On 6th of April 1863, a railway station opened as Hound Hill. Uh, because if we go down there, you've got the Hound Hill shopping centre. Uh, I only really opened, I think, as a small railway station because later on in just find the date now. Um, oh, it was renamed Blackpool Central in June 1878, and then it was enlarged to 14 platforms in 1901, um, making it the largest railway station in Blackpool and most commercial beaching cut station going. Originally, there were plans to close Blackpool North, which was then Blackpool Talbot Road, but instead, Blackpool Central was the one for cuts. It was also targeted because of what Blackpool Council wanted to be a developed area uh, into a mixed use, but now it's just been developed as a car park, Coral Island and a coach station. That's and Golden Mile and all the seafront attractions. But it was a great loss to Blackpool and after the closure um, but Blackpool suffered a bit of a dent in its tourism football due to the loss. No, it only had 14 platforms, it was only ever served by two main lines. Um, two main lines, and they was, let me have a look. They were served by the first Norway uh, Joint Railway. Uh, the Martin Line from 1903 and it was also served by Blackpool and Living Railway. But why was there 14 platforms, Mike? Well, there were 14 platforms because it was used, it was mainly uh, the purpose was to. Uh, lost my train of thought just there in there. And, because it was mainly used for excursions coming into Blackpool because it was right central because you, when we get down there after you see we'll be literally near enough on the prom Menard so that's mainly why it was used as a excursion station and now there's not really no excursion trains because co motor coaches have took over that side of it and you've got the two coach stations mainly one for National Express behind me which is over there, and all the other little coach operators, but also the Blackpool Football Club is also used as a coach station. So there's ample facilities for excursions to come into Blackpool. Um, it was steam trains mainly, um, but uh, the operation of the station, who operated, well, let's have a look. It was the original company on opening was Blackpool and Living Railway, and then it went to Lancashire, Yorkshire Railway, and London and North Western Railway, and then in proposed grouping, it was took over London Midland Scottish Railway. Um, so, just out of now. Yeah, initially it was a where's this small town centre terminus for an isolated line running along the South Floyd coastline from Liven. In 1874 the line was connected to another bank from Liven to Kirkham 
allowing trains from Preston and beyond. In 1901, the station was enlarged to 14 platforms and the station, the same number of platforms as London busy, busy Paddington Terminus in 2006. A third development came in 1903 with additional Martin Line added route which was added routed directly to Preston and was shorter and quicker. This arrangement made for a very convenient direct access to Blackpool Town Centre, particularly the seafront and Blackpool Tower. The station remained in service just long enough to see its centenary before its close runs 2nd of November 1964 against the original recommendation of the 1963 beaching plans which had proposed the closure of Blackpool North station instead Blackpool Corporation had successfully lobbied British Railways for the central to be closed instead in order that it may buy the land for potential lucrative region over. And then, once it closed its doors, it was used as a bingo hall until 1973, at which point all the buildings were demolished and the direct Martin line from Preston, which has also passed through South Blackpool South Station, was closed in 1965, leaving a large tag of wasteland along with disused embankments and bridges. We, we are, we're heading down there now to just have a look at its current usage um, and we'll slowly take a look along and probably come to the Coral Island now but pretty much on this area as you see now it's redeveloped from where it originally closed. We've got some more pictures in Thank you.